Hello friends out there in YouTube land, this is Robert Han with his Roll 10 review using the TL70. We've got some great images to share with you over here. Before we jump right into it, I want to remind you that, um, hey, you know, Instax Photography, specifically with the TL70, is a great way to make friends and meet people. And what better way to hand them a nice print, right? Uh, but don't just give them your business card, because sometimes they could throw that away and not even remember you the next day. Why not make a memory? Uh, and I've developed this wrap right here. Robert Hand Photography has all my conversation and info, info right there. It's really easy to go ahead and get this hooked up for somebody. Uh, when you meet them, you say hello, you can take a picture, and then while this is developing, you can put your wrap on there. It's very unlikely that they're going to throw this away. It'll make a nice memory, have a communication that's attached with it. And uh, if you'd like something like that, don't forget to hit me up down in the comments below. They're $25 for the template. We'll customize it for you and your business. Okay, let's get right into it. Mint Camera sent me the TL70 to review. In fact, in this case, they actually sent me free films as well because of their free films for life process. So just uh, to let you know, I did not pay for the film nor the camera on this. But I don't think that will change any <laughs> any of the sharing that these are great images, okay? These are excellent images, and that's what we want to share with you. Okay, so just going through this, this was a trip to grandmother's house, and some of these I don't have XF information on because I forgot, but I can tell you what I would have used. Uh, here, it's real simple. If we remember what I talk about, um, we're in a shaded environment. Look, you can see hot spots in the back, so that means that we're in mixed shade. There's a couple of hot spots landing on my kids. Uh, but we can see the shade down here in the shadows, definitely. So I'm at F8 with negative exposure compensation. That's just where I am. And look at that cool picture. He's got his little plane in his hand. They're smiling right there. What a great little photo. My Uncle John showed up, and we got a picture of grandmother giving him the, the bunny ears. And uh, F8, once again, negative exposure compensation. Now look at this. I've chosen a background here that's not as bright as the sky. And I want to share these two with you. Once again, I've chosen a background, but when you can use the background to mask the sky, you can get away with a larger aperture, and that's good because you can show a shorter or a more shallow depth of field. And how cool is this photo? I love these colors right here. And when I talk about um, gating the sky or getting something in front of the sky, getting a background that's not the sky, this is what I'm talking about. You can just use the foliage of the trees, and it's much brighter, it's much less bright than the actual sky itself. Looking over here at this nice little picture, F8 negative exposure compensation, there's a plane, there's my boy. We can see we're still in mixed or indirect mixed shade and uh, you know, F8 with negative exposure compensation is working like a charm. Now, check it out. I wanna share with you just a little bit of a difference. So the minute that we add this right here, this, this shadowy area of this tree, right, uh, is very dark in comparison to this area. And that's because there's a lot more foliage there, so not as much light is coming through. But look at the difference just in the exposure. Uh, if you look here, this one has some slight highlights that are blown out. This one only so much over the side because that's actually the sky back there. But look what the camera's doing. F8 with negative exposure compensation. You can actually see here in the eyes that it is much darker along the face. Okay, so that's going to tell us something very important about this actual picture and about how the camera is metering. Once again, when you fill the background with something that's dark, you're going to get a much darker image. If you have a brighter background in the sky, you're going to get a much brighter image. So use that tip wisely. Think about what's in your background and how that's going to show in your actual picture and how that's going to affect your subject. In any event, love these images. Coming as a picture right here, this one, my, hey look, my son took this picture and although the, um, the image is slightly um, misaligned, I guess you could say, uh, this is something that even a kiddo, a 13 year old, can pick up this camera and use it. Focus and use it. He has had a problem focusing in the past with this camera, but you'll notice he got a great focus here. Now, here's something else, F8 with negative exposure compensation. My grandmother's wearing a very, very, very light, almost white lime green shirt. And she's old, she's older, so she's, she's um, pale. And so think about your subject and how much, uh, how their complexion is going to affect the exposure of your film. Now, when we have the picture of just her, the camera is able to do a much better job and actually get the proper exposure. We can even begin seeing some of the green, but a little bit of grandmother's blown out. But the camera that you're seeing here, the view that you're seeing, is nowhere near the extent that it may be um, showing you on the film you know it's a picture of a picture guys so uh, give me a break there for a second it's not as overexposed on grandmother as it looks although it is slightly 
of great shots. Okay, so here we go. I wanted to share with you what the difference can be just from changing your background. Okay, now earlier we talked about two little pictures, um, one of my Uncle John and one of my kids, and we just showed the difference that the background can make. See, we have a light background compared to a dark background. See, we have a light background compared to a dark background. Now look at the pictures. Which one do you prefer? Well, I prefer this one, although this one's not bad. I don't mind a little bit of the halo. I was going for a rim lighting effect, but when I was taking the picture, I looked and I realized here, hey, you know what? This is a really dark background and I wanted to bring out some more. So even before this one developed, I adjusted my shot so I'd have the lightness in the background. And look what that's able to do. It separates the subject's head, in this case, and his shoulder from the background because it's so bright right here. And we still have some background here that comes through. So it's a beautiful green and, and, and pinks that are in there from the foliage. But here, when we're not separated, we get a much darker image overall. The, the shadows here are really dark and we don't separate the subject so much, although this is a great example of rim lighting. So we can still see some separation of the subject from the background, not just because of bokeh, which there is quite a bit, as you can tell, but also because the, the head is being lit up by the light of the sun, and that's presenting a rim light. However, with this dark background, look how cool the image turned out compared to with this brighter background. So once again, just being aware of the things that are in the background will help make your images come out much, much better right off the bat. Guys, I'm Robert Ham with Robert Ham Photography. I hope that you found these images helpful for you. I hope you found some pro tips that you like. If you do have some, don't forget to share them with me. Guys, don't forget that if you're watching here, you are missing half the story. Find me over on Instagram, at Rob Ham Photo. Use the hashtag Make Ordinary Days Extraordinary. Uh, check out at Mint Camera to find out more information about the TL70 and other instant cameras that they've got. And if you really want to make a difference, go ahead and order some wraps for your instant photos. How cool is that? Guys, I want to thank you for watching. Remind you that I will catch you on the flip side.